Hi, it's Miss Danielle from the Grimshaw Municipal Library, and I'm here to show you our next featured creature. And again, this is sponsored by the MDFP, so we're really grateful for their sponsorship because then we can buy books. Um, so this month we're doing jellyfish, and um, a couple of fun facts about jellyfish is they can come as small as your finger or as big as a garbage can lid, and they can um, uh, move themselves sideways or they can move themselves up and down. Um, in your kits this month, you're going to find this um, fun little fact sheet about jellyfish. And on the back, you're going to find some sciencey information because we thought this month it would be really cool to show you um, a sciencey craft. So that's going to be in there. You're going to find straws and there are different diameters. You're going to find some googly eyes, sticky googly eyes, and you're gonna find some paper clips. So there's nine paper clips, and you don't necessarily want to use them all to be part of the science experiment. And you're gonna find a bottle of water. So when you get your kit, you're gonna to wanna to take the paper off your bottle of water. So it ends up being like this. And then you're going to take your straw and we're going to bend it over like this. That is one of the best feelings is when you pull out a bendy straw and it makes that little noise. I love it that. Is. And so we're wanting to clip our straw so it's about that length. So that's, that's about the length of the paper clip once you have it in the short side. Does that make sense? Because we're going to Put it in like that. So you don't want to cut right under where all the bendy parts of the straw are. You want to leave some room underneath the bendy bits. So we're going to cut it about there. If, if you cut this too short, your experiment won't work. It'll be um, too heavy because this experiment that we're doing is about buoyancy and... But, density. Oh, oh, density was the other one. Yeah, about buoyancy and density. So if you cut your straw too short, um, there won't be enough air in this pocket here to make the um, science experiment work, which is actually called a Cartesian diver. Okay, so I've cut my straw, and I'm going to put it on this end and this end. So we're going to go like that. It is all, it's a sort of like when you're sewing, it's easier to cut something too long and then have to trim it than to cut it too short too yeah. soon. So I tried for this experiment, I tried using different lengths of paper clips, I tried using different lengths of straw. One straw I cut, I cut them really short like that so the paper clip was sticking out up top and it just sank. There wasn't enough um, air trapped in there. I tried using lots of paper clips and it was too heavy. So you get to kind of play around a little bit and figure it out. We gave you different diameters of straws so you can experiment a little bit. So once you've cut your straw and you put it on, then you can put on some googly eyes just because it's cute and googly. no other reason. And googly eyes are always the best part of a craft. Okay, so then you're just going to take your um, octopus. Your jellyfish. Jellyfish, sorry. Your jellyfish. Maybe we need to do an octopus. Your jellyfish, and you're going to shove them in there. And this one I didn't put eyes on, but I'm going to put them in here as well. You just put them in the top like that. And a little bit of water comes out, but that's okay because you haven't taken any water out of your bottle before, have you? Okay. So you put the lid on. And here is. Okay. See if it works. Okay, so you're gonna squeeze, and they're gonna <gasps> go down. And then they go down. You squeeze. Oh, so my green one isn't going down. So okay. there must be some reason. Maybe it's too long. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's too light. Oh, maybe that's there's... the one with the googly eyes. So maybe my googly eyes. Maybe the googly eyes are stuck in the neck of the bottle. Maybe they're stuck in the neck of the bottle. Okay, let's try it again. 
gave him a little shove down. Okay, see if he goes down this time. Oh, so... <gasps> no, he's going. He was going to do it. Was he? Yeah. Sometimes you have to hold longer to make no. the pressure. Oh. No. He yes. Almost... <laughs> so, I think the problem with my green guy is I had two different sizes of googly eyes. I think <gasps> that these large ones are making him too buoyant. Could be. Which, you guys are lucky because you're actually not getting the big eyes. I just wanted to try another experiment. So I mm -hmm. believe that's what the problem is because the guy with the little eyes is going down just fine. Uh, the other thing that we found out about Cartesian dri divers is that they have to be floating completely up and down when they're at rest in the bottle. So if one side is heavier because one side of the straw is longer or something like that, they won't work if they're tilted. They have to be straight up and down. Okay, I just took one eye off the green one and I'm gonna see if he'll go down this time. There you go. There, that nice. was the problem. The eyes made him too buoyant. Hmm. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this little science experiment with your jellyfish and feel free to send us some videos. We'd love to see what you did. Have a great evening. Bye.